Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. First, we revise the last lecture topics and then we go for the next one. <coughs> Consider that this is a blood capillary. Right? Next, here the nephron is there. Nephron and blood capillary right now if anything is transferred from blood capillary to nephron that thing you call if any substance that transfer from blood capillary to nephron that you call yes all are correct that the secretion and exactly opposite from nephron to blood capillary. In between all of you, switch on your video. Right, reabsorption, correct. Can you give me which substances are secreted? to maintain that pH balance, which substances are secreted? Correct. Sugar, gallo. Next, yes, yeah, Saura, Yug. Mutahir, good. H plus, K plus, ammonia. Okay, Himanshi. Chali. Next, which substances are reabsorbed to maintain pH? Which substance that reabsorbed to maintain pH? Correct. Good sugar. Subsanil. Shri. Rishi Fatima, yes. Bicarbonate, HCO3 minus, right? Which substances get exchange that one undergo secretion, other undergo reabsorption for ionic balance? Jugal, one is correct, other one? Na plus is secreted, sorry, Na plus is reabsorbed, right? And other one is a K plus. K plus is secreted from blood capillary to nephron. Okay. Now, Now we are going to learn a new topic that counter current mechanism, right? Counter current mechanism. To understand this counter current mechanism, you should understood first these all terms. Loops of Henle. Now you know the what is the loops of Henle, right? One is a descending limb in that, and uh, one other is a which one? Ascending limb of and this loop, right? Can you tell me descending limb is permeable for dash? This thing is very important to understand this. Remember? <coughs> Madam, Jena video on nothing ne, but then remove kare da group maati. Meet maati. Ha. Water, correct. Next, from ascending limb, ascending, just a second. As, ascending limb is permeable for?
Correct. Ascending limb is permeable. Okay, Tishita. So, permeable for electrolytes. Good. Now, next thing that to understand this counter current flow, another term, another structure actually, that's the vasa recta. First, that's the Henle's loop. Second, the role of that vasa recta. Can anyone unmute and tell me what is vasa recta? I have told you in the first lecture. U shaped structure present in, not present in cortical nephrons. Uh, right. U shaped structure that is not present in cortical nephron. Correct. That U shaped structure, Jugal, can you tell me exactly present where? Ma'am, in the. Uh, a descending loop and handless loop of descending and handless loop of ascending between that. Okay. Surrounding this uh, nephron, particular which part, handless loop, right? The small U shaped capillary is there, which is exactly parallel. Understand, okay? suppose you have a handless loop. So, same like that over here, the capillary is there, U shaped. This capillary you call which one? That's the vasa recta. Right? This one you call that's the vasa recta. Ma'am, I call for you to repeat. Karana. Yes. Imagine here the handless loop is there. This one. Descending and ascending. Exactly parallel to that. Over here, the capillary is there. Okay, peritubular capillary, which front arterial form karta hai, surrounding the nephron. That peritubular capillary over here, surrounding the nephron, form U-shaped blood capillary that you call vasa recta. Clear? Yes. Right. So first, that the handless loop. Second is a vasa recta. Now, third one. That is the third, that's the collecting duct. Okay, third, that's the collecting duct. And fourth one, that interstitial fluid. Four is a which one? Interstitial fluid. These four things, okay, you should understand. understand. To understand, okay, for easily understand this counter current mechanism. Right? Now, what is interstitial fluid that is present where exactly? As we have discussed now, okay, this is the nephron over here surrounding that this vasa recta is there. In between, the fluid is there. In between, the fluid is present. That fluid you call what? Interstitial fluid. Right? Another name, you can say that medullary fluid also. Either interstitial fluid or another name is medullary fluid. Right now, what is the main aim for this counter current mechanism? Main aim of this counter current mechanism is what to make the urine concentrated. Right, just imagine that. Uh, can you tell me how much amount of blood is total get filtered by kidneys? How much amount of blood get filtered? No, no. Uh, that's anil kara. Total kitna blood filter hota hai? That's a 1100 to 1200 ml. And how much filtrate is formed by kidney? That is 120. 5 ml, right? Per minute, 125 ml per minute. That GFR. Per day, agar hum karte the, remember 180, 180 liters per day. Ma'am, a Tishita Kharwane waiting room, a three meet malone. Hi, rejoin. Chai. Ah, ma'am, I am. 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 I am
क्या हो जाता है ओनली पर डे कितना यूरिन पास होता है उटसाइड बॉडी कैन अफोर्ड दिस मच वाटर लॉस इतना तो हम सपोज ड्रिंक भी नहीं करते ना वन एटी लीटर फोर टू फाइव लीटर मैक्सिम राइट सो टू अवॉइड ऑल दिस थिंग एंड टू मेंटेन द बॉडी थर्ड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ओवर हियर दिस काउंटर करंट मेकेनिज्म इज रिक्वायर नाउ इन काउंटर करंट मेकेनिज्म दिस इज द नेफ्रॉन एंड टायर right and over here the blood capillary is given now when we superimpose this two things ye jo blood capillary hai right over here usko just hum yahan pe shift kar de at this point then diagram looks like this exactly diagram look like this <coughs> right this thing to easily understand the counter current mechanism this is the nephron entire right next here the blood capillary is there now नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ये क्या है डिसेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एनलेस लो ओवर हियर असेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एनलेस लो राइट नेक्स्ट डिसेंडिंग लिम्ब असेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एनलेस लो देन व्हेन वी सॉरी मिस्टेक ओवर हियर असेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एनलेस लो नेक्स्ट कैपिलरी जहां पे ये असेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एंडलेस रूप है ओवर दर डिसेंडिंग कैपिलरी यूरिन ये डिरेक्शन में फ्लो करेगा एंड कैपिलरी में ब्लड इन दिस डिरेक्शन एग्जेक्टली ऑपोजिट राइट सी वन मोर टाइम हैंडलेस लूप मेनली because here we are talking about handless loop and vasa recta that mainly involved in this counter current mechanism so descending limb of handless loop filtrate move in this direction downward and upward jahan pe upward handless loop hai to wahan pe capillary ka kya aa jayega descending descending capillary in that blood flow in this direction descending limb of handless loop ascending capillary descending capillary ascending limb of handless loop right now in both this can you make out one thing common that the content form first in downward over here and then upward in both the direction the content get or filtered get over here flow so that you call the count over here this is the one of the counter current this one is a one of the counter current then another counter current is in blood capillary then downward and then upward both are in opposite direction jahan pe ascending limb of handless loop hai to wahan pe descending capillary hai 
descending limb of annulus lobe over their ascending capillary is there right so that's why we we can say that this counter current mechanism that runs in opposite direction right now next <laughs> next after that now so see from this part that gf uh, filtrate first come to the pct pct ke baad wo kahan pe aa jata hai that's the handless loop at that time the concentration is there in handless loop that 300 milli or small per liter meaning what agar aap 1 liter content check karoge ye filtrate ka in that you will get 300 milli or small means 300 milli salts are present or small ka meaning kya hota hai salts right 300 milli or small per liter next as and when the content goes down fir 300 se yahan pe 600 ho jayega then 900 over here that's the 1200 right salt concentration increase hua can you able to understand this thing salt concentration milli or small jo hai that increase 300 to 600 to 900 to 1200 right how can be this thing is possible by this way remember descending limb of handless loop is permeable for वाटर सो वाटर यहां से इमेजिन करिए कि बाहर आ रहा है वाटर कम्स आउटसाइड सो इनसाइड दैट सॉल्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीज वाटर व्हेन कम्स आउटसाइड तो सॉल्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन क्या हो रहा है ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीज हो रहा है यस और नो राइट एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी कैन से दैट इफ यू रिकॉल दैट दिस वन इज हाइपरटोनिक कंपेयर टू ब्लड प्लस मा लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस This filtrate is hypertonic compared to blood plasma. Why? Because descending limb of handless loop is permeable for water, so water come outside. So gradually over here up to that twelve hundred milli or small per liter concentration is there. Right? Now, next is what? Ascending limb of handless loop that is permeable for electrolyte salt. Okay. So in that case. Can you make out? देखे NaCl, NaCl. फिर यहाँ पे यूरिया है यूरिया का हम लास्ट में डिस्कस करेंगे जस्ट फोकस ऑन दैट एन ए सी एल एंड एन ए प्लस एंड सी एल माइनस राइट ना एन ए प्लस एंड सी एल माइनस एन ए सी एल सॉल्ट आर देर वेन एवर आयोनिक फॉर्म इज देर ना एन ए प्लस सी एल माइनस they comes outside with the help of active transport okay na plus cl minus that comes outside outside where chaliye can you tell me ye kya hoga this part is what initially starting lecture mein maine aapko explain kiya this part is what ye handless loop hai ye capillary hai so this one is correct dalao कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड यूरिन सॉल्ट remember one is a salt and another is a urea they play very very important role over here now we understand in this way ki ascending limb of handless loop hai from that na plus cl minus nacl that comes outside comes outside exactly where in this interstitial fluid okay in this interstitial fluid this na plus cl minus nacl that comes outside so due to the salts come outside can i say that this one interstitial fluid 
इन इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूड सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीज यस और नो फर्स्ट यस मैम हाँ असेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एनलेस लुप फ्रॉम दैट असेंडिंग लिम्ब ऑफ एनलेस लुप ओनली पर मी एवर फॉर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स so na plus cl minus nacl that comes outside outside meaning understand interstitial fluid and due to the salts come outside into the interstitial fluid interstitial fluid in that solute concentration increase right so due to the salts over here we can use this term also this one now become hypertonic yes or no this part become hypertonic किसी को डाउट है तो बोलो कि नहीं समझ में आया कैन रिपीट ओके है ना यू कैन लिव राइट चलिए दिस थिंग इज क्लियर ये हाइपरटॉनिक है राइट ओवर हियर विच यहां से तो सॉल्ट देखिए ये तो वाटर के लिए इम्परमिबल है दिस पार्ट इज इम्परमिबल फॉर वाटर But this part is permeable for water. That is also beneficial. यहाँ पे hyper see in this part due to the salt comes outside. This part become what hyper concentrated or hyper tonic. यहाँ पे hyper tonic है. In this part, water is present. This one become what? हाइपोटोनिक यस और नो यस पीसीटी में से फिल्ट्रेट आ रहा है इन दैट स्टिल सो मच अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इज देयर सो दिस वन बिकम हाइपोटोनिक इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूइड कंसीडर एज अ हाइपरटोनिक रिमेंबर ऑस्मोसिस ऑस्मोसिस व्हेयर व्हाट वाटर मूव्स फ्रॉम व्हेयर टू व्हेयर फ्रॉम अ रीजन ऑफ हायर कंसंट्रेशन टू लोअर कंसंट्रेशन हायर कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ व्हाट आप बोल रहे हो श्रेया के हाँ आप जब बोल रहे हो कि वाटर हियर द वाटर मूव फ्रॉम हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो वाटर के लिए राइट वाटर मूव वाटर का यहाँ पे कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है कैन आई से दैट हाइपोटोनिक इन दैट वाटर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज मोर कम्पेयर टू दिस वन so that's why over here this two condition arise into the nephron hypotonic outside the nephron in interstitial fluid that's the hypertonic and due to this water molecules come outside and that's why over here this descending limb of henle's loop is permeable for water boliye pehle ye part clear hua yes ma'am clear all of you please tell me misha clear misha nitra right good <coughs> now chale see dekh here now second thing related to this yeah yahan pe sodium sodium uh, that Na plus Cl minus is there? Okay. Some of the ions, no doubt, over here that enter into this blood capillary, right? Here Na plus Cl minus is there that enter into blood capillaries. These are remain into this part interstitial fluid. Now, <coughs> next is what? देखिए, सो विथ दिस सॉल्ट ओके विथ दिस सॉल्ट दिस ब्लड दैट कम ओवर हियर इन असेंडिंग कैपिलरी फ्रॉम डिसेंडिंग कैपिलरी ब्लड फ्लो टूवर्ड द विथ साइड असेंडिंग कैपिलरी यहां से उसने क्या लिया ब्लड में एन ए प्लस सी एल माइनस नाउ दैट सॉल्ट कंटेनिंग आय कंटेनिंग ब्लड रीच ओवर हियर इन असेंडिंग कैपिलरी असेंडिंग कैपिलरी में देखिए अगेन एन ए प्लस सी एल माइनस क्या आ रहा है बाहर आ रहा है एन ए प्लस सी एल माइनस दैट अगेन कम आउटसाइड
and then next this thing also helps to increase the iron con uh, solute concentration over here that also cause the hypertonic condition and due to that water molecules come outside from this one descending limb of handles to can you make out ye water jaise yahan se bahar nikalta hai na that enter into blood right that enter into blood <coughs> now <coughs> next thing that so ions are retain over here ions and the salts are there these things are retain over here in interstitial fluid देखिए Na plus Cl minus यहाँ पे एंटर हुआ डिसेंड सॉरी असेंडिंग लीम ऑफ एंडलेस लुप से बाहर है देन एंटर इन टू दिस डिसेंडिंग कैपिलरी बट वंस दिस ब्लड रीच ओवर हियर इन असेंडिंग कैपिलरी टूवर्ड्स दिस डिसेंडिंग लीम ऑफ एंडलेस लुप अगेन दे आर कमिंग आउट साइड इन इंटरस्टिशियल फ्रूड सो सॉल्ट आयन एक्चुअली दे आर रिटेन इन दिस पार्ट इन इंटरस्टिशियल फ्रूड नेक्स्ट सेकेंड थिंग दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड ओवर हियर दैट जो भी फिल्ट्रेट में वॉटर है यहाँ पे राइट वॉटर ओवर हियर दैट कम आउट साइड ड्यू टू दिस ऑस्मोसिस एंड दैट वॉटर एंटर इन टू ब्लड कैपिलरी एंड दैट ब्लड नाउ लीव द किडनी दैट वॉटर एंटर इन टू ब्लड कैपिलरी एंड देन लीव द किडनी राइट सो maximum amount of water reabsorbed ho gaya retain into the blood yes or no yes ma'am maximum amount of that retain into the blood एंड वॉटर का क्या हो गया दैट एंटर इन टू द ब्लड राइट सो नॉट टू मच अमाउंट ऑफ लॉस ऑफ दैट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एंड नॉट वॉटर दैट्स वाई दिस काउंटर करंट मेकेजम वर्क इन द किडनी इन नेफ्रॉन राइट नाउ सेकेंड पॉइंट इज देर रिलेटेड टू दिस दैट can you make out over here yeah. in this part this is the collecting duct yeah. okay collecting duct is there and collecting duct yeah. here the collecting duct remember collecting duct mein humne ek point learn kiya tha bottom part of collecting duct that is permeable for dash bottom part of collecting duct is permeable for bottom. dash wrong bolia correct disha parekh good that the which one urea can you make out over here i told you that line i will explain in counter current mechanism right so bottom urea you know humans okay mammals humans they are ureotelic so main nitrogenous waste is what urea right in humans that's the main nitrogenous waste that's the which one urea we are ureotelic now still urea to nitrogenous waste hai, so it should remove outside but remember urea is not as much toxic like a ammonia agar ammonia hota na to usko okay immediately remove karna padta from the body but urea very very little concentration or very very little quantity of urea that is retain in this part urea hai again it's a one kind of salt so salt ka role kya hoga to increase the osmolarity over here to increase the concentration to maintain the hypertonic condition in interstitial fluid right that's why urea 
फ्रॉम द बॉटम पार्ट लास्ट में फ्रॉम द बॉटम फ्रॉम द बॉटम पार्ट ऑफ कलेक्टिंग ट्यूब्यूल वेरी लिटल क्वांटिटी ऑफ यूरिया दैट कम्स आउटसाइड राइट एंड दैट एंटर इनटू दैट एंटर इनटू दिस असेंडिंग सॉरी माय मिस्टर दैट यूरिया देखिए ये एक्चुअली यहां पे आना चाहिए ओके यूरिया कहां पे एंटर हो जाता है ओवर हियर ये जस्ट एक मिस्टेक है ओवर हियर डायरेक्टली दैट एंटर इनटू असेंडिंग कैपिलरी बिकॉज़ ये तो परमीएबल है इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स के लिए इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स कैन एंटर और रिमूव देखिए कैन यू मेक आउट यूरिया के लिए एरो ऐसा है यहां पे इन दिस पार्ट राइट सो कलेक्टिंग ट्यूब्यूल से क्या करता है बाहर निकलता है then come to this interstitial fluid and from the interstitial fluid it comes to the which part ascending limb of handless loop so actually it remains it it flows into the which one it flows into the which it remain interstitial fluid to henley's loop yes correct right so urea from the collecting bottom part of collecting tubule right that come to the interstitial fluid so here it increase the solute concentration and again increase i uh, sorry enter into again enter into what this uh, ascending limb of handless loop right now so urea jaise hi yahan pe interstitial fluid mein aayega again solute concentration increase in interstitial fluid hypertonic condition arise more hypertonic condition arise and due to that can you make out collecting tubules jo hai na usse se bhi dekhiye water bahar aata hai राइट कलेक्टिंग डक्ट में भी एक लाइन दिया था लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर कुड बी रिएब्स फ्रॉम दिस रीजन राइट हाउ बिकॉज कलेक्टिंग ट्यूब्यूल बॉटम पार्ट ऑफ कलेक्टिंग ट्यूब्यूल दैट दैट इज परमिएबल फॉर यूरिया फ्रॉम दैट वेरी लिटिल क्वांटिटी ऑफ यूरिया कम्स टू द इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूड दैट इंक्रीज इज द ऑस्मोलरिटी सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड देन it helps to reabsorb more and more amount of water right see so as much as possible water is reabsorbed right into the blood right that is the importance of what counter current mechanism now collecting duct collecting duct se further urine pass hoga that urine in that only extra salts are present extra unused un, uh, right that salts are present with little amount of water and by this way that 180 liter filtrate converts into 1.5 liter filtrate or urine per day boliye ye mechanism clear hua counter current mechanism yes ma'am clear <laughs> brief revision of this okay to understand this thing starts with this part actually that ascending limb of handless loop is permeable for electrolytes so electrolytes and the salts actually come over here into the interstitial fluid that uh, leads that actually form over here what type of condition hypertonic condition in medullary fluid or interstitial fluid next after that from this interstitial fluid that some salt enter into the blood capillary blood capillary descending capillary runs towards the ascending and from the ascending capillary again that salts come back to the interstitial fluid which again helps to increase re, uh, maintain the high osmotic concentration solute concentration over here so here hypertonic condition into the descending limb of handless loop hypotonic condition and due to this condition water comes outside 
बाय ऑस्मोसिस हाइपो टू हाइपर हाइपो में वाटर ज्यादा होता है हाइपर में वाटर कम होता है राइट सो हियर वाटर इज मोर ऑस्मोसिस में क्या होता है वाटर विल मूव फ्रॉम हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर टू लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर राइट नाउ सो दैट वाटर एंटर इन टू वॉट ब्लड कैपिलर एंड दिस ब्लड कैपिल नाउ लीव द किडनी सो दैट वाटर वाटर रिटेन रीएब्सॉर्ब मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर दैट रिटेन रीएब्सॉर्ब इन टू वॉट ब्लड सॉल्ट रिटेन ओवर हियर सॉल्ट का लॉस नहीं हो रहा है मैक्सिमम सॉल्ट आर प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर दैट हेल्प टू मेंटेन द हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ दिस इंटरस्टेशियल फ्रूड देन रिमेम्बर दिस कलेक्टिंग द बॉटम पार्ट ऑफ कलेक्टिंग दट इज परमिबल फॉर यूरिया सो वेन यूरिया कम्स टू इंटरस्टिशियल फ्रूड अगेन सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीज एंड दैट लीड्स टू वॉट वॉटर विल मूव आउट साइड from collecting duct right and by this way the <coughs> by this way the concentrated urine is formed okay by this way the concentrated urine is formed students please take 5 minutes break so here mainly in counter current mechanism nacl and urea plays an important role right remember two systems are work one in a nephron other one in a capillary right in a opposite direction remember towards the cortex over here that 300 right here exactly the with one 300 milli or small concentration is there that concentration gradually increase how much 1200 1200 1200 mg collecting ducts may be dekhiye urea jaise hi bahar aata hai hypersaline more hypersaline condition is formed and water come outside that water enter into blood capillary right next so water come outside again what concentration of solute increases देखिए आप अगर पूरा देखोगे ना तो क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे पहले 300 हंड्रेड है फिर 600 900 1200 हंड्रेड बिकॉज वाटर कम आउटसाइड फ्रॉम द नेफ्रॉन सो सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीज इन वी कैन से दैट सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज मोर इन नेफ्रॉन एट दैट टाइम फिर असेंडिंग में क्या हो रहा है सॉल्ट बाहर आ रहे तो सॉल्ट का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अगेन डिक्रीज हो रहा है राइट देखिए ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड से अगेन सेवन हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व टू हंड्रेड हंड्रेड फिर अगेन क्या होता है वन मोर टाइम दैट कलेक्टिंग ट्यूब्यूल इज देर कलेक्टिंग ट्यूब्यूल ओवर हियर इन दैट वन मोर टाइम दैट वाटर कम आउट साइड द सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीजेस एंड दिस हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड यूरिन दैट कॉम्स आउटसाइड this much you have to remember for this uh, uh, counter current mechanism boliye shreya ma'am matlab apne u kahi sake ne ki nephron ma almost time e hypertonic re ane capillary ma je hoy e hypotonic re medium ha hi see exactly hypotonic hypertonic e particular segment par depend karta shreya this one is hypotonic over here here in descending limb of endless loop hypertonic remember compared to the blood plasma pct ma that's the isotonic and again in collecting tubule it becomes what hypertonic because water come outside clear shreya ha ma'am ha correct right 
सो थ्री हंड्रेड मिली ऑस्मॉल जस्ट इमेजिन की इनिशियली कितना था थ्री हंड्रेड मिली ऑस्मॉल पर लीटर दिस सॉल्व सॉल्यूट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज देर दैट कम्स टू द ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड मिली ऑस्मॉल पर लीटर राइट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड मिली ऑस्मॉल पर लीटर दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द इनर मेड्यूला राइट दिस मिकेनिजम हेल्प्स टू मेंटेन अ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट इन द मेड्यूलरी इंटरस्टिशियम राइट दिस ग्रेडियंट शुड बी रिक्वायर्ड यहाँ पे हाइपर टॉनिक होना चाहिए इन इंटरस्टिशियल फ्लूड एंड ओवर हियर विच वन हाइपो पर्टिकुलरली फॉर दिस पार्ट right so the easy passage of water from this collecting tubule descending limb of endless loop can be possible and urine becomes more and more concentrated right human kidneys can produce urine nearly four times concentrated than initial filtrate form dekhiye ye 300 tha 300 se kya ho gaya 1200 to four times more concentrated right human kidneys produce can produce urine nearly four times concentrated than the initial filtrate right and one more thing that to maintain the high osmolarity over here in this part <coughs> proximity between the handley strip and vasa recta प्रोक्सिमिटी का मीनिंग क्या होता है क्लोजनेस ये तो यहाँ पे आपको अंडरस्टैंड करवाने के लिए इतना गैप है अदरवाइज नॉट दिस मच गैप इन एक्चुअल ओके वेरी क्लोजली सपोज ये ब्लड कैपिलरी है तो हियर द नेफ्रॉन इज देर ओके दे आर अरेंज एट वेरी क्लोजली सो प्रोक्सिमिटी बिटवीन हैंडलेस लूप एंड द वासा रेक्टा दैट ऑल्सो हेल्प टू मेंटेनिंग द or maintaining the increasing the osmolarity towards inner medullary interstitium right <coughs> now next topic see last time i'm asking anyone have a doubt in this counter current mechanism because in your textbook just diagram is given nothing else galo to the next himan shi okay akya aksharudra shi mitra right now next topic okay before that we learn a very small thing that related to urine as you know urine that is released outside 1.5 liter per day ph of urine is slightly acidic 6 ph of urine is 6 and in urine how much amount of urea that is released outside per day 25 g to 30 g urea is released outside means in this 1.5 liter total urine this much urea is there right baki ke kuch salts honge water is there bolie clear hai right then two terms you should understood over understood over here glycosuria glycosuria meaning what presence of carbohydrates or glucose presence of glucose in urine right when kidney you know diabetic patients okay diabetes ke liye test hota hai urine test diabetic agar hai to usko urine test bhi bolte because if due to high concentration of that glucose in blood kidneys get affected kidneys cannot be absorb means nephron cannot be absorb the glucose so it will come to the urine and presence of glucose in urine that condition medical term is which one glycosuria 
and that indicates what patient is suffering from diabetes diabetes mellitus okay then another term that is ketonuria <coughs> ketonuria presence of ketone bodies okay presence of ketone bodies in urine if ketone bodies are present that you call ketonuria right <coughs> next one more point for related to this handley loop right handley loop remember that is present okay handley loop is present in birds mammals okay handley loop that is present in birds and mammals Okay. Now we are going to learn a next topic that is the micturition. Micturition that is the process by which urine release outside. Okay, micturition is a process by which urine release outside. See, urination is a voluntary signal actually. Okay, urination it's a voluntary signal. So voluntary signal that comes from which part? CNS, central nervous system, which cause the micturition. First, what happen over here? That imagine kidneys are there. In that the nephrons, which prepare the urine. that urine come by the that urine leave the kidney enter into the what that's the ureter ureter reach over here into the urinary bladder it's a bladder is a what bag like structure that bag gradually okay filled with urine and once this bag is filled with urine on this urinary bladder a particular receptors are the specific receptors that you call stretch receptors bag stretch hota hai can you imagine this thing initially aap dekhiye balloon jo hai right balloon mein gradually aap air ya water fill up karte jao so their balloon wall outer surface get stretch same thing over here happens to this urinary bladder urinary bladder uh, as and when the urine is filled in that this wall get stretch and once the urinary bladder is filled completely filled then stretch receptors give a message send a message to central nervous system right central nerve uh, see stretch receptors which are present on the wall of blood wall of bladder that gives a signal to what cns central nervous system right <coughs> now central nervous system receive this message analyze this message and then again send a message okay again send a message to this urinary bladder and urethra can you make out over here two branches are formed one with this urethra other with this urinary bladder so the understand karo the now which gives the message to nervous system now which gives the message to nervous system that now we call sensory basically three types of nerves are there sensory motor and mixed right the, the now which carry the message from the organ sense organ here the stretch receptors are there to the brain spinal cord central nervous system that now you call sensory exactly opposite the now which carry the message from this part that is 
that is a uh, central nervous system to the main organ target organ right central nervous system to target organ that you call which now motor now so cns passes the motor message okay cns passes the which one passes on motor message one to which one this urinary bladder bladder ko kya message pass karta hai cns ke now the time to contract contract hoga to kya ho jayega urine come outside right so in micturition cns passes the message by the motor neuron first to the urinary bladder urinary bladder undergo what contraction urinary bladder ke pass kaun sa muscles hote hai smooth muscles okay this one has a smooth muscle smooth muscles undergo contraction urinary bladder undergo contraction so urine come outside with that one more thing is that yahan pe urethra hai can you make out here sphincter is there okay basically two sphincters are there internal and external so urethral sphincter जब यूरिनरी ब्लैडर फील्ड होता है ना यूरिन से एट दैट टाइम दिस स्पिंटर गेट क्लोज अदरवाइज तो क्या होगा ये स्पिंटर अगर स्पिंटर इज अ व्हाट वन टाइप ऑफ बाल राइट जैसे हमने डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम में किया ना दैट मस्कुलर स्पिंटर सर्कुलर मसल से बनाए सेम वेट्स अ वन काइंड ऑफ बाल सो इफ दिस थिंग इज ओपन जस्ट इमेजिन कि ये यहां पे जो बाल है वो ओपन है तो क्या होगा कंटीन्यूअसली यूरिनेशन होता रहेगा यूरिन कम टू दिस यूरिथ्रा बट कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस नहीं है यूरिनेशन क्या है दैट्स एट रेगुलर इंटरवल द यूरिनेशन अकर राइट हाउ सो यूरिनरी ब्लैडर फर्स्ट फील्ड एट दैट टाइम ये क्लोज होता है व्हिच वन यूरिथ्रल स्पिंटर राइट एंड जैसे ही यूरिनरी ब्लैडर कंप्लीटली फिल्ड विद द यूरिन एट दैट टाइम स्ट्रेच रिसेप्टर्स आर देयर दिस स्ट्रेच रिसेप्टर सेंड अ मैसेज टू नर्वस सिस्टम then nervous system again send a message to this urinary bladder and urethral sphincter urinary bladder ko kya message deta hai ki now the time to contract right so this one undergo contraction and urethral sphincter jo closed hai now the time it should be open so it undergo what relaxation urethral sphincter undergo relaxation urinary bladder undergo contraction that leads to what release of urine outside and release of urine you call it's a micturition that process you call that's a micturition boli samajh mein aaya micturition yes ma'am <coughs> right see urine which is prepared by the all the nephrons in the kidney that urine once leave the kidney it enters into the ureter यूरेटर से इमेजिन के यहाँ पे क्या है बोलते साइड दैट्स ट्यूब पार्ट यूरेटर इज दैट यूरिन एंटर ओवर हियर वंस द यूरिन गेट्स फिल्ड दैट इट शोस व्हाट इट स्ट्रेच द यूरिनरी एक्चुअली ब्लैडर वॉल ऑन विद द स्ट्रेच रिसेप्टर्स आर देयर दैट स्ट्रेच रिसेप्टर वंस द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर कंप्लीटली फिल्ड स्ट्रेच रिसेप्टर्स गेट एक्टिवेट it send the message to cns cns again send the message through motor that's to the urinary bladder and urethral sphincter urinary bladder undergo contraction sphincter undergo relaxation and by this way the urine release outside that process you call urination or that process you call micturition or in simple language you call urination right last line urinary bladder that is formed by stratified transitional epithelium stratified transitional epithelium okay stratified transitional epithelium अगर आपने यूरिन रिपोर्ट नॉर्मल जस्ट यूरिन रिपोर्ट अगर डॉक्टर करवा देना आपने ऑब्जर्व किया है केयरफुली तो होता है इन दैट 
कि एपिथेलियल सेल्स नहीं ऑब्जर्व किया है ना तो ऑफ करना राइट इन दैट वन थिंग इज गिवन दैट एपिथेलियल सेल्स एपिथेलियल सेल्स वेरी फ्यू लाइक टू टू फोर और फोर टू एट लाइक समथिंग वैल्यूज आर देर ऑलवेज सम अमाउंट ऑफ एपिथेलियल सेल्स आर देर इन यूरिन विच एपिथेलियल सेल्स दिस वन यूरिनरी ब्लैडर के जिसमें ट्रांजिशनल एपिथेलियम है ओके यूरिन फील्ड होता है रिमूव होता है फील्ड होता है रिमूव होता है सो वॉट हैपन ओवर हियर ड्यू टू दैट जो इनर वॉल है इनर वॉल इज देर दिस इनर वॉल गेट अंडर गो इरोजन राइट एंड ड्यू टू दैट वेरी लिटल जो सर इनर वॉल के जो सेल्स होते दैट गेट डिटेच एंड कम टू द यूरिन राइट मिक्यूरेशन क्लियर और शुड आई रिपीट क्लियर चलिए श्रेया एक्सप्लेन एक्सप्लेन एंटायर मिक्यूरेशन यस मैम वेन द यूरिन वेन द यूरिन लीव फ्रॉम द किडनी इट एंटर्स द यूरेटर एंड देन द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर वेन द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर गेट फिल्ड विद द यूरिन द the sensory uh, the sensory muscle uh, sends, neuron neuron uh, sends the sensory yes uh, the sensory uh, neuron uh, take the message to the brain and the brain sends the message back via motor nerves to the uh, urinary bladder and the urinary internal uh, sphincter to uh, to pass out the urine through urethra the urinary bladder undergoes contraction and the urinary sphincter undergoes relaxation in this way the urine is passed out uh, from the body urinary sphincter nahi urethral sphincter yes from um, urethral okay uh, urethral sphincter right galo aapka jo question hai right old people have a problem related to this micturition because in uh, old people this uh, urethral sphincter okay that wall actually that doesn't work properly if doesn't work properly not to all in some of them right this thing can happen and remember this micturition done by the nervous system so that we can say that it's a one kind of micturition reflex okay that we call micturition reflex stress yeah, so receptors and uh now we are going to learn that <coughs> regulation okay regulation of kidney function okay in actually this one take a little bit longer period of time we will i will take a very short a small topic now that's the role of other excretory organs other than the kidneys right other than the kidneys in humans other excretory structures are also present which helps to remove the excretory waste bolo ma'am me kya kya the bolu eu na na the hand raise kare na na me bhul se gyu lage okay other than the kidneys lung lungs are there liver skin that also helps in eliminate the excretory waste right their mechanisms are different their components are even also different mainly urea yaad rakhna mainly urea that is by which one kidneys which is a main nitrogenous waste other waste are also there like co2 co2 is a one kind of waste yes or no CO2 is a one kind of waste, right? So that also should be removed outside. That is with the help of what lungs. 
lungs helps in that by inhalation exhalation breathing process by, through the exhalation lungs remove the co2 from the body right our lungs remove <coughs> right our lungs remove co2 per minute just imagine 200 ml co2 per minute right 200 ml co2 per minute for co2 okay 200 ml of co2 per minute when we calculate for day then 288 liter per day co2 released outside okay 288 liter per day co2 release outside next <coughs> next then even too much amount of water okay too much amount of water you know uh, one thing is there uh, we have discussed in respiratory chapter breathing and exchange of gases that the air which we actually inhale that is the cold but the air which we exhale that is a warm remember so with warm air remember that water molecules also re release outside warm air ke sath water molecules is also released outside so that is how much 400 ml just imagine per day very little quantity 400 ml 400 ml water per day right that is removed by the lungs to 200 ml co2 by lungs per minute डे में कैलकुलेट करोगे तो 288 लीटर पर डे देन लंग्स आल्सो हेल्प्स टू रिमूव द वाटर 400 एमएल वाटर पर डे रिमेंबर दिस वैल्यू मेनली राइट ऑर्गन नेम दैट्स द लंग सेकंड हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ सीओ2 एंड वाटर नेक्स्ट दैट लीवर as you know liver is a actually the factory in which so many reactions are occur factory industry bol sakte hai okay pura now in that bile formation yes or no liver mein bile bile juice form hota hai okay yes ma'am uh, uh, then urine color is a pale yellow okay urine color is pale yellow fecal matter actually that color, uh, that is yellow why because in that this bile is there right so liver uh, that produce uh, that produce the bile even you know urea also form in liver by urine is inside ha uh, or neat in cycle correct good okay in liver urea from the ammonia okay that's a urea formation occur now so bile urea that is form then other thing that's a bilirubin delivered in cholesterol certain vitamins drugs degraded steroid hormones everything is there that also removed with the help of liver liver actually kis mein release kar deta hai in our that's a digestive system okay in the system the liver secrete all this thing and by this way this things are release outside so liver the largest gland in our body that secrete this bile containing compound bilirubin bilirubin which are the bile pigments cholesterol degraded steroid hormones vitamins drugs they are ultimately passes out along with our digestive waste liver ne form kiya and then कहां पे रिलीज कर दिया इन टू दिस डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड थ्रू द फीकल मैटर इट कम्स आउटसाइड देन स्किन राइट यू नो जब परस्पिरेशन होता है स्वेट होता है 
तो स्वेट हेल्प इन टू रिमूव द वेस्ट फ्रॉम बॉडी डू यू फील दैट स्वेट दैट हेल्प इन और जस्ट वॉटर रिलीज करता है कूल द बॉडी इन समर on skin sweat glands are present one of the gland is which one sweat glands this sweat glands produces what very very important right sweat glands produces or they actually release okay water salt you know sweat is a salty okay sweat is salty so sweat in that water plus salt nacl then lactic acid is there then small amount of urea even small amount of urea so sweat glands when it release this content with water it helps in cooling the body temperature in summer particularly and by cooling as with the cooling it also helps in to remove the waste material right amount of urea then extra salt that's the nacl polo jugal mam etla apan na parse hota hai ta amadi vastu nikle ha yes sweat me ye sab hota hai not only water right so that's why in summer we should take bath not only one time two times okay to clean our body surface because on that this waste are there next shreya ma'am when we sweat hmm. we sink us came out when we sweat we stink apna mathi smell mare this chemicals coming outside urea kabhi chemistry lab pe kahi pe urea hai have you stink over the smell kiya hai na uh, <laughs> <laughs> right Uh, okay so due to this chemicals the bad smell come out boliye fatem ma'am jare apne exercise kariye tare to sweat aave ch but jare apne nervous hoye ch an tare bhi sweat aave ch to ke me see this is totally involuntary action yes or no fatem right so uh, the glands these glands are there okay when nervous anxiety condition is the nervousness is the on anxiety condition this glands get stimulated and that shows okay at that time so many glands actually work adrenaline adrenal glands also work at that time this glands so all glands shows their reactions so whenever the nervousness is there you feel that the sweaty due to the stimulation of this gland Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Right. Chali. Next. It's good. कि आप सब ने interaction किया. Another. हाँ, गालाओ. बोलो. Ma'am, परसों निकला ना परसी आपने सुकाओ दें तो teacher टाइम की वाइट वाइट चाहिए. Yeah, energy. Salt, salt. Yeah, salt, salt. Okay. <laughs> आप simply देखो soil के ऊपर भी. वॉटर अगर सॉल्टी सॉइल हो ना सॉल्टी सॉइल सलाइन सॉइल इज देर तो इन दैट वॉटर प्लस सॉल्ट इज देर वॉटर वेन इवापरेट सॉल्ट बिकम व्हाइटिश इन कलर वाई बिकॉज सॉल्ट आर देर सॉल्ट का इवापरेशन नहीं होता है वॉटर गेट इवापरेट राइट मैम चलो लास्ट ग्लैंड दैट इज दिबेशियस ग्लैंड लास्ट इज अच वन सीबेशियस ग्लैंड okay sebaceous gland uh, that is mainly sebum that that secretion you call okay that secretion you called sebum right sebaceous gland that secretion you call sebum uh you know generally hair mein apne hair follicle yahan pe ye hair follicle hai आपने कभी ये फील किया है कि आप ऑयल नहीं ऑयलिंग नहीं कर रहे हो हेयर मसाज नहीं कर रहे हो राइट विथ ऑयल बट स्टिल आफ्टर सम डेज योर हेयर लुक्स लाइक ऑयली हैव यू फील दैट ये कैसे हो गया राइट ड्यू टू दिस ग्लैंड सिबेशियस ग्लैंड सो 
exactly you know mammals ka characteristic feature hai that hairs are present on body right so on body actually this sebaceous glands are present exactly with this hair follicle right with this hair follicle this sebaceous gland is there this gland secrete what sebum now in this sebum which things are there uh that sterol okay one compound is what sterol then hydrocarbons sterol hydrocarbons and one more that's the wax oily wax right sterol hydrocarbons and oily waxes this thing is secreted by sebum and what is the function of this sebum so it gives the it makes a oily cover it makes a oily cover on skin and even by that way it helps in protection oiliness aa jata hai to the things okay kuch bhi agar the things that uh, try to can enter into the skin that stick over there due to this thickness okay so it makes a protective oily covering on skin sebaceous gland it secrete the sebum sebum in that sterols hydrocarbons and oily wax compounds are there ma'am ha bolo face par je oiliness hoy e pan na sebum na likhe yes 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 That's why cold water use करते हैं तो उसके जो pores जो बोलते हैं skin के pores okay that pores ये जो glands के pores होते हैं वो closed हो जाते हैं तो oiliness कम हो जाता है when we use the cold water right and lastly that is the salivary glands okay last that's the which one salivary glands ek tha sebaceous gland sweat gland and lastly that's the salivary glands right salivary glands extra metallic ions okay some metallic ions as well as small amount of urea small amount of urea in saliva that is ultimately secreted into that uh, goes into digestive tract and then with the fecal matter it releases outside but remember very negligible okay negligible quantity but this thing is detected in saliva so lungs kidneys liver other than the kidneys that the lungs liver skin that helps in to eliminate the other waste excretory waste co2 ke liye kya hai lungs even extra water ke liye bhi lungs by humidification of air liver ke liye that bile pigments cholesterol bile steroid hormones vitamins drugs right and skin on that sweat gland sebaceous gland are there bolie clear role of other excretory organs yes ma'am clear is there any doubt ma'am tel na lagaya now natural oil mada chhe ha mada chhe right okay but you you know uh yahan pe jo oil hi bola hai in that steroid hydrocarbons are there oily wax Your hair actually ये वेस्ट है योर हेयर नीड्स नरिशमेंट आलमंड ऑयल में ये सब मिलेगा आपको राइट हेयर नीड्स नरिशमेंट सो फॉर दैट वी शुड अप्लाई ऑयल ऑन हेयर ओके ये तो वेस्ट है वो रिलीज हो रहा है राइट 
बिंदिया मैडम हाँ मैडम बिंदिया मैडम हाँ रेकॉर्डिंग 